Welcome, shall we observe the sun today? High solar activity. The sun just strobed Earth with a pair of strong M-class solar flares. In quick succession on October 1st and 2nd, radiation from the flares ionized the top of Earth's atmosphere, causing shortwave radio blackouts over the Pacific side of North America and later Australasia. These flares registered M5.9 and M8.7, the second explosion only decimal points away from being an X-flare. If this progression continues, an X-flare could occur before the weekend is over. Big sunspot alert. One of the biggest sunspots in years is emerging over the sun's northeastern limb. AR3112 has more than a dozen dark cores scattered across 130,000 kilometers of solar terrain, making it an easy target for backyard telescopes using the projection method. Magnetograms of the sunspot group reveal a delta-class magnetic field that harbors energy for X-class solar flares. The next few days will be interesting. Here is a look at the solar eruptions that have occurred, thus far, today. First on the LASCOC2 filter, two CME can be observed, launching into space, from the northwestern side of the Sun. Here they can be seen, on this C3 filter, but mostly obscured behind the occulta pylon arm, that holds the occulta disk, used to create a false eclipse, so the CME can be observed more clearly. Venus can also be observed, as it makes its orbit around the Sun. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.